our founder started Food for Life um, in India in the 1970s, um, Indian gentleman by the name of Shila Prabhupada. He, he saw uh, some kids, homeless kids, fighting with dogs uh, for scraps of food. And he said to the people around him, no one should go hungry within a 10 mile radius of any of my centers. So that's pretty much the model of how Food for Life started. By the time we come on the cooking day, everything's in buckets and it's just for us to throw spices in pots. So it's four different, four or five different spices with oil and then all the ingredients. So we basically start with one pot, finish up and move to the next pot. And in that way we go through nine pots and that's yeah, four and a half thousand meals. So our aim is to eradicate hunger and malnutrition in the Western Cape. So if 40% of 6 million people suffer from hunger and malnutrition, we're looking at what, over 2 million people? So that's our goal, to be distributing 2 million plates at a time. Food for Life has encouraged me to become a cook. I'm, I'm not saying I'm a cook yet, <laughs> so I'm trying my best and Whatever I'm doing, I hope I'm, I'm serving the community properly. Most of the guys that you see are our core group of volunteers. They work during the week as well. So they're giving up their Sunday, Saturdays, their free time, when people would normally be, or typically be, shopping or sleeping in or something. They're here from early in the morning. So there she's sometimes here from 4.30 in the morning. The favorite part is just get in here and starting to cook. If I can do it every day of my life, I'll do it. On a Saturday, I look forward to being here because it's not just an organization. All the guys that you see here, um, is basically we're a family. So it's more than just an organization. We're, a, we're part of a family and, and that, is, that is awesome. What happens is, you know, you have an awful week and, and, and you come here on a Saturday and you see the impact and the difference you're making, then all those issues you had in the week, all the things that upset you, they're not important. They were just things that happened, but today is a good day because I'm doing good for others, I'm helping others. And it fills me up, it fills my cup up. So today, for the sixth time, we are collaborating with an organisation called Bra Help. Ryalp is headed up by Andre, he's a Swedish gentleman. He moved to South Africa many years ago to Cape Town. He fell in love with Cape Town, but also saw such a need in terms of the poverty that he experienced. And he since stayed. If I see 20, 30 happy faces, I'm also happy. Also my pleasure to have collaboration with Food for Life because what they make since years, it's also a big job and a nice job. In order to get involved, just come and just whatever you are good at doing, just come and present that. Um, it's not about being in any position, but if, it, if you can carry a bucket, come and get involved, come and help us. It costs us about a thousand rand to cook a pot. Challenge your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, or in your family name, sponsor a pot, because that's what some of my friends did. They got their families, some of them got their work colleagues. They challenged each other to sponsor a pot. We just instruments. I mean, this is, this is not our movement. It's um, Prabhupada, our founder, he's still a driving force behind what we do, but we just trying to be worthy instruments in his hands. So many people. 
people talking um, this morning to me and they say they ever got eating for about four or five days but you know I told him God sent somebody ate for you and the people was coming this morning and I want to say thank you for the people who organized the food who light up a light for so many people in a mother city of the beautiful grassy park especially here by the grassy park hotel. Oh,